The LA Clippers might have a serious problem. Their star player hates their new point guard. Here's why that could spell trouble. At the 2023 deadline, Russell Westbrook was traded away from one LA team only to end up with another one. And some people thought it was a great move. I mean, you've got Russ, known for his slashing, athleticism, and playmaking, playing with a team full of shooters and in dire need of a playmaker. Heck, one of the big reasons why Russ wanted the move so badly was apparently because Paul George, Marcus Morris, and Nick Batum all got in contact with him, telling him to come to their side of LA. But if you didn't notice, there was one name missing, Kawhi Leonard. Undoubtedly the most important player for the Clippers, but I mean, come on, this is Kawhi, the most stoic man in the entire league. It shouldn't really be a surprise that he didn't make a fuss about bringing on Westbrook. There's even reports that Kawhi and PG-13 met with the former league MVP before he signed. So it should be all good, right? Well, not quite because Kawhi might have stabbed Russ in the back once before. You see, back in 2019, fresh off leading the Raptors to a championship, Kawhi was a free agent and was all set on becoming the new Clippers star, but he knew he needed a backup if he wanted to come out of the West with a third ring. Enter Russell Westbrook, the former league MVP, who was looking forward to the idea of coming home to LA and playing for his hometown team. And he thought teaming up with Kawhi was a great idea. So he tried getting in contact with him several times, but Kawhi didn't bite and instead thought of something a bit nefarious. He used this as leverage to try and convince Paul George to leave OKC and force a trade to the Clippers. PG was coming off one of the best seasons of his career, finishing third in the MVP race behind Giannis and James Harden, but was rumored to have had a falling out with Russ after a couple of unceremonious playoff exits. So Kawhi told George that Russ was planning on teaming up with him and said he'd rather team up with him instead of Westbrook. Kawhi's plan worked. And a couple weeks later, PG and Kawhi were the newest Clipper duo. As for Russ, he also left OKC that summer, but hadn't really had much success since, which really proves Kawhi's point in picking PG over him. Fast forward five years and all three California natives are teammates. Hopefully some fences have been mended. I mean, one of the reasons why PG fought for Russ coming over so hard could have been that PG felt like he owed Russ something. For that one magical year, he was third in the MVP race. Russ played a huge part in that. And while Russ isn't the same Russ anymore, at the end of the day, all that matters is winning. And if Westbrook coming over means the Clippers get over that hump, that's been stopping them from nearly a decade now, then I'm pretty sure they'll put their differences aside and all just gonna look back and laugh at it. <laughs>